this is Lisa from Life in Layouts and today I have the sketch number one for the sketches for the 6x6 paper pad class. This is a class put on by Allison Davis from Scrapbook Generations. This particular class is all one page layouts but I decided to turn all of the layouts into double pages. The sketch itself calls for a photo in the center and then a, a square around it and then a ton of embellishments all around the edge. What I decided to do was make my square in the center and I thought it would be a little bit easier if I went ahead and adhered my 12 by 12s together since there was going to be a lot of embellishments around the entire page and some of them would overlap. So the first thing that I start out with doing after I adhere it is I decide which base that I want and I wanted to use this gold like yellowy gold glitter paper and I wanted to mount it on something else. So I'm just looking through my papers trying to figure that out and you may notice that my transitions are a little bit different in the beginning of this video. Most of the time when I record my video camera has a double time recording so it will speed up the process for me and it's one less step that I have to do. However, the very first set of videos I forgot to turn it back to the double time. I think I was recording something in real time and so that's why my transitions are a little bit different because if I speed it up in the video processing I can't use the transitions that I like to use. Now that you know a little bit about the background of video editing, let's get back to the layout. I have now adhered my photos, my two photos that I'm going to use in the center on that polka dotted paper and then again on that gold glittery paper. I have these three photos that I also wanted to add and I thought I was going to put them in a four by six, just leave them full size, but I decided that it was going to take up too much space. So I did go ahead and cut them down to four by four. And these particular photos are of us at Disneyland in California. And Disneyland has Cars Land, which we do not have in Disney World. Actually, I think this is California Adventure, not Disneyland. We went during like the Halloween time where Halloween decorations were up and they had the cars decorated in their carstum. I think I said that right, like co costumes, but carstum. Anyways, I looked it up <laughs> to put on my journaling. Uh, so the cars were decorated. And so this was a uh, like a little VW bug that was all decorated in the Day of the Dead. I, I think that's what it's called. Um, it's a Mexican culture event uh, where they dress up like different things, kind of like uh, Coco, the movie Coco. Anyways, that's what we are taking. And so uh, we had the photo pass thing and uh, they took pictures of us far away and then they also took pictures of us close up. So those are the photos that are going to be on the right hand side. So the sketch itself calls for all of these different embellishment pieces uh, and it's one actually particular embellishment. I think it was stars that went around all the edge. But my idea was to take all of my embellishments from my Disney collection because I do have all of the Say Cheese collections and with that gives me a ton of embellishments. So I first started out with my stamps. I don't normally purchase stamps, but for Disney, obviously I do because I'm going to be uh, stamping a lot. And I went ahead and pulled out all my stamps and stamped around uh, the area that I was going to put my photos. So I have stamps that have little stars on them, say cheese, some cameras, hearts, um, another one that says happy magic moment. And I just went all around the area where the photo is going to be. Then I pulled out my two by two squares and did the same thing. I first thought I was going to line them up evenly, but then once I've got it all down, I didn't like the way that that looked. So I'm going to change that a little bit. I do have this like tab die. And sometimes when I have a lot of scraps, I'll just sit down and cut out in either the die using the tab or a couple other <clears throat> pieces that I have like stars and things like that because uh, I have a ton of paper and sometimes I run out of embellishments even though I have a ton of embellishments. So using those tab 
dies help me repurpose it. So if you look uh, real closely over there on the very far right hand side of the layout, there is a little tab die there that's white and it has the word laugh on it. That was actually cut out from some paper with my tab die. So if you have a collection that you're running out of embellishments for, I do highly recommend, and I normally just buy standard or generic type dies so that I can repurpose my paper to make embellishments as well. I pulled out my embellishment book and I have a, an embellishment book for all of my colored embellishments, but then I also have an embellishment book just for Disney and that's what you see kind of off to the left there is I'm pulling out all of my embellishments. I have some tickets in there. I have uh, some hearts as well as just some different like bingo pieces. You can see that I kind of cut that bingo piece up there at the top that says dream. Um, I cut it where it was a little piece now sticking out down at the bottom as well. So just trying to make those embellishment pieces stretch. I did decide to uh, at this point go ahead and cut my piece in the center to adhere it down just to make it a little bit easier to adhere it and making sure that it is actually in the center of the layout. Of course I put ATG on my piece of paper there and then had to very carefully pull it up off of all of those embellishments. And so this is where I realized that I just, one, the squares went too far out so I needed them to come in a little bit, but two, I didn't like the way that it was looking with the lining them up. So I do try to line them up again and it just, it didn't end up working. So you can see here that I move everything over slightly so that it is still tucked into the gold piece there, trying to figure out where I want everything. So once I get my embellishments adhered down, I do go ahead and add the three photos on the very far right hand side. And like I said, those photos are a close up of us on either side of the car and then just another shot of us uh, by the car. And I love the fact that the Disney photographers did that for us because these cars are so far away, um, <clears throat> you don't have really the details of it in the, the larger photos. So I'm still working through trying to make sure that everything lines up, that I don't have any weird gaps in my cluster around the edge. And after I do that, I go ahead and pull out my other embellishments that are more than just uh, paper. So I have my chipboard embellishments and a couple other uh, pieces here. So you can see that I put down that camera. And also in the Say Cheese 4 collection, there are these little bugs that are or VW bugs that are also decorated. They're red and they have floral on them and just super cute. So I went through my collection and, and basically pulled out any of the ones that had that little bug on it, which there wasn't a lot. Uh, but I was able to pull it out in a square sticker, a puffy sticker, and then also a chipboard piece. So again, just tucking and tucking. This layout took me a very long time uh, with all these embellishments, but I do love the way that it came out. I also decided to pull in some brads to give me a little bit more dimension. Uh, so you can see here that I'm adding some of my brads. And unfortunately, some of my brads uh, in this collection have turned yellow and I don't really like the way that it looks, but I want to get it used up because it, this is one of the layouts that it probably doesn't stand out a lot on because there's so much going on. <laughs> I did decide to go ahead and put a little paper clip up there at the top that has some Mickey shorts on it. And then I decided to do some sewing on the layout just because, you know, this class is for Allison Davis and she is the sewing guru. So what I decided to do was on the very far left hand side, I'm just going to uh, sew around that stamp image of the ticket. And I love the way that that turned out. And then I pull out my tiny attacher and the banners that are there just seem like they were floating. And I feel like by adding that little tiny staple, it just gives me that element that at least the banner is attached to something. I also went ahead and put sewing around that circle at the top that says smile. And then I also used one of my Mickey heads. You can see that on the table there. And I traced it with a pencil and then poked my holes and just did a small little Mickey head uh, in the thread as well. Then I pulled out my Mickey enamel shapes. I have them 
both in black and white. So I went ahead and put both of those around the layout in a couple of different spots. And I'm gonna use this little piece here for my journaling. I am just going to use a statement from the website. It says all the cars were dressed up in their costumes <laughs> to celebrate Halloween. Then I pull out the little phrase stickers and add a couple of the phrases around the layout. I've got photo op over there on the left. I've got 100% fun up there on the right. And then I'm gonna go in and uh, adhere everything down with liquid glue just to make sure that it sticks. This is where I was able to find that chipboard piece of the little VW bug. And so I added that over there on the right hand side of the layout. And then I also found it in the puffy sticker, so I went ahead and added it to the left-hand side of the layout. And now I'm just kind of filling in a little bit of the space inside of the square because I felt like everything was outside, and so it was just needed something, not a lot of it, but just some pieces to pull in to tie in the photos with the piece so it wasn't just this huge, big, yellow, sparkly paper and nothing else. I also pulled out some cork hearts and added those around the layout as well. And again, I was just trying to go with a bunch of different dimensions in my layout. I did have to add an additional line because the lines were just wonky on that piece of paper. And I knew that I wouldn't have enough to, enough lines to write all my journaling. I pull out these black thickers here and my title is just gonna be Cars Land. And so just adhering those down with some liquid glue because we all know that chipboard does not stick very well. And that is it for this layout. Here is my final layout as well as some close-ups. I will link below Scrapbook Generation so that you can pick up this sketchbook. The class is not available anymore, but the sketchbook is awesome and I highly recommend it. All right, everyone, if you enjoyed this video, if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. If you haven't done so already and you want to see more double page layout inspiration, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks everyone for watching and I hope that you have a scrappy day.